Hey Portland, greetings from Vancouver, BC, home of Mighty Ugly. Rachel asked me to give you a little bit of an introduction to this project that I started a while back and I was happy to do so, so I hope this video is coming through loud and clear. One day a few summers ago my friend had a birthday party and it was a crafty birthday party and I was one of the few like crafty identifying people at this party and so I felt this great pressure to like make something awesome but what I really wanted to make was a doll out of some really ugly upholstery fabric that I found, but I work in crochet and knitting and yarn and stuff, and sewing was really not something I knew anything about. I realized that the reason I wanted to make a doll out of this fabric was that the fabric was really ugly. That's what made me really like it. So I was like, well, I'm just gonna be making an ugly doll out of it anyway. So what if the seams are really uneven? And what if once I stuff it, I can't you know, make an invisible little closure to that seam that I made? Um, and so then, all the pressure went away and I had the most fun I had ever had just making something and it was so much fun and um, this this is the result this is Shoshana I've had her for years I kept her she's been in my living room on display in this craft world that we live in whether we're making stuff to sell or making stuff just for ourselves or for gifts or something there's a great pressure to make things that look good um, and good can mean any number of things. It can mean, you know, perfect vintage awesomeness or uh, a photograph of your item so it portrays its essence the best or uh, the perfect gift for the perfect person on the perfect day. So then there's this standard that we hold ourselves to and often that standard is really, really high. And so I thought that in addition to it being really freeing to remove the pressures of making something perfect by allowing ourselves to make something ugly, it would be a real challenge to break ourselves as crafters out of the mentality that what we, ha what we make has to be good, pretty, beautiful, or something like that. And so Mighty Ugly sort of has two faces. It's one challenge, and that challenge is to sit down and make an ugly creature. Ugly, ugly. Not cute, ugly. Not ugly doll you buy it in the, you know, cute kid store ugly, but like really ugly. Like people would pull a face if they saw it ugly. Um, that's the challenge, but it has two sides to it. For some people, it's really freeing. It, it, it quiets the voice in our heads that tells us that we're not good enough, or we're not going to be able to draw in a straight enough line, or we're not going to be able to make a perfect seam, and that allows us to explore our creativity without constraints. Um, and the flip side of that is for crafters, for people who do identify as creative people who make stuff, it is a real challenge, it can be very threatening because we're so focused on creating things that are beautiful. And the result of taking this challenge when you have that crafter's mentality is that it kind of explodes your brain. It's really hard to begin with. It, it, I've seen one person cry, but it's all right if you do. Uh, but that's not to scare you because it's worth it. On the other side, you look back and you realize that you have stared the beast right in the eye. You looked him right in the eye and said, I'll conquer you too. And that means you end up with more intimate and understanding of the way that you approach your own creativity because you force yourself to do the things you usually avoid doing without even realizing you're avoiding it. It's like embracing the seedy, scary underbelly of craft for like an hour. And then you can go back to your regular making and stuff like that. The other aspect of this project is telling about it. It's really cool to do the project alone in your living room and then maybe blog about it and maybe not, maybe never tell anyone, but it's really cool to do it with a group of people because the dynamic of crafting together changes a lot when you know you find yourself looking at someone else's thing and saying, you know, that's really not that ugly. It's a whole different vocabulary than we're used to saying. Usually we make the polite, like, oh, that's awesome, that's awesome. Well, in this case, awesome is really hideous. Awesome is something that we usually avoid at all costs. So have a really fun time this Etsy craft party day. Thanks so much to Rachel for organizing all of this. And I hope that you'll share some of your photos or your videos or you'll just submit a blog post or something to mightyugly.com so the experience that you have in Portland today is something that can be shared with others at any time at all online. Bye.